Sal Romero Jr. made history today, becoming the city of Harrisonburg's first elected Latino council member. That's your ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. Then moments later, another first. He was selected to be the city's first Latino vice mayor. I asked Romero what it meant to him being the first in both of those categories. I think it's uh, important because it's, uh, it's sending a message out to the community that we do have people out here who uh, have come to this country, uh, you know, from a Latino background, uh, Hispanic uh, background, who are willing to work uh, to make great things happen in our community. I also want to make sure that uh, the younger population out there can see that it is possible uh, with hard work uh, and integrity to be able to get to places where you want to get to. So I want to send a clear message that, you know, it's not about me. It is important for our community, but I think it's important for the overall city to see that we have representation at the city level. Romero is a lifelong educator. He has been a principal, worked for the school board, and served on the Virginia Board of Education. The newly elected councilman plans to push up the date of constructing a second high school in the city as Harrisonburg's one and only high school is overcrowded and at almost double its capacity. Following the tasing of two unarmed African-American women by the Harrisonburg Police Department last month, whom, by the way, are also members of the LGBTQ community, there have been accusations of racial profiling, an excessive use of force surrounding the incident. Romero said he plans to address racial profiling as a counselor because as a brown man, he experienced incidents of racism growing up in Rockingham County. You know, obviously as a, as a person of color, I have dealt with things of that nature in the past, not in Harrisonburg, uh, fortunately, but I definitely, that's something I wanna definitely focus on. I talk with a lot of people who oftentimes do feel uh, they're not being treated as, as equal. So I definitely wanna be the uh, part of the solution and making sure that everybody feels welcome, that everybody feels like they're being treated as a person of, of equal rights. Now, prior to today's meeting, the buzz around town was that Sal Romero Jr. was gonna be chosen to be the city's mayor, not the vice mayor. But instead, to much surprise to those in attendance and the media, the five-person governing body chose to stick with the city's current mayor and make Romero Jr. the vice mayor. Romero said he is satisfied with the decision and that he can get more done without the title of mayor. I'm absolutely okay with that. You know, I think there's uh, several issues I want to work on right now. And uh, as a council, met, uh, council member, I should be able to do, uh, get things moving forward a lot quicker uh, as a council member rather than as a mayor. In Harrisonburg, the title of mayor is mostly symbolic. The mayor receives several thousand dollars more than the other members and runs city council meetings. But the mayor is the only councilor on the five-seat governing body that can't introduce legislation. However, with four Democrats and only one independent on the five-person governing body, and of those four Democrats, three are minorities. I'm sure it will be easy for Romero Jr., the mayor, and Jones to easily pass any legislation they desire. In Harrisonburg, Theodore Whitelow, Breaking Through News.